All right, boys, we're going to talk about one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 23. It is the cross concept. Why cross? How to run it out a bunch. Really excited about this. If we're in the Colts playbook, if you want to get my entire bunch ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything over there. Why cross is a play from BYU Lavelle Edwards back in, I believe, the 70s or the 80s. Uh, kind of came up with this. It was his favorite play. They ran it pretty much all the time. And I think it is the best concept for attacking deep downfield in the vertical style passing game and at the same time having just incredible spacing to be able to attack really anything that the defense gives you. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. How do you run Y cross or how do you run cross out of bunch? My favorite play to use this is speed dig. If you don't have speed dig in your playbook, you can run it out of verts, halfback under, or you can run it out of PA read. But I want to show you the, the core foundational concept out of speed dig, all right? So let's get on the field and show it to you. This is incredible against man. It's incredible against zone. It's incredible against match. It doesn't matter what the defense does. This is a really good passing concept. And if you make the right read, it's borderline unstoppable. So how do I like to run the play? Very simple. Cross just simply talks about this route right here to the slot receiver, this crossing pattern across the field. Now, generally speaking, he's going to try to go under the sand and over the mic and basically find soft spots in zone coverage. Now, on the outside here, we're going to run a go route or a nine route, just a clear out streak. You can bend this back if you want to put it a post, you can, but I personally prefer just a standard clear out streak to the left side. Now, in order to open up space in the middle of the field, uh, what we like to do here is take the running back and put him on a out route or a table route or a block and release route. Either any of that is up to you. And then also to create space in the middle of the field, we're going to put the tight end on an out route and we're going to motion this like rounded in route to the outside, as you see right here. And what you're going to notice is against man, our first read is this tight end route. If they're going to give us this quick hitter against man coverage, we're going to take that every single time. What that does is it forces them to have some help over on the bunch side. And the reality is this play is generally going to be attacking the left side of the field. So what you're going to notice now is we're going to step up in the pocket and we are going to hit this crosser against man coverage. As you can see right there, one of the best routes in Madden uh, at beating man man coverage. Now, what if you don't have um, time? Like what if you're getting pressured a lot? How can you still run Y cross um, almost like as a quick game concept? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Very simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to out route our tight end. We're going to slant our slot. And then we're going to, instead of having him on a crosser, now he's on a slant. So it's a little quicker hitting play, but it's still going to be attacking that same space. And you see we get a natural pick and rub, and we're able to beat press man pressure. So that is another little element of wide crosses. You can run this at different depths, which leads me to the play verticals. Verticals has this running back on this sharp cutting in route. You are f more than free to leave the in route if you want to and put the tight end on a drag. I personally think that's not the best approach um, because it doesn't open up space in the middle of the field. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to those two out routes just like this. Now what you're going to see is now this is a significantly deeper crosser, but it's not that good against man coverage. So you don't want to be running that specific variation against man to man. However, that crosser is incredibly effective um, against zone coverage, which we'll show you right here. So this version of verticals halfback under is absolutely incredible against zone coverage. So what you're gonna see here is that deep crosser is gonna go cross. You also have that dig if they match that crosser for whatever reason, then you do have the dig on the back side of it. So as you can see, this play does not only beat man coverage well, but it also beats zone coverage well. In the play speed dig, it has this nice unique in route that's gonna be really effective against both man and zone coverage. And then you also have that crosser. And you see how we're able to space the field really, really, really well um, and literally be able to attack the, the flats on both sides. We're attacking the 
really the right side, like in terms of that, like right side seam area. And then it's going to come across and we're going to attack everywhere. So you see right here, if you watch this in route, you see there, he's kind of attacking in the middle of the field as well. Now you don't have to motion him out. I'll show you why. So um, because of the way this route works and it's a rounded in route, you don't have to motion the player out. So what you'll see here is if we just leave him in compression, he's still going to round that in route out and he's going to basically make it a speed in route just like that right there. Now, if you have, let's say you have a uh, slot apprentice or hot route master, you can also turn that into a sharp cutting post route. We know that the sharp cutting post route is one of the best ways to attack man-to-man -man coverage in this game. So you could go with something like that and now you see how, you know, again, these crossing routes are just going to just absolutely annihilate uh, man coverage. If you know that it's zone coverage, something that I really like to do, let's say that you know for a fact that you're getting some type of zone look. What I like to do with this play is we're going to uh, basically leave this tight end on his route and we're going to take uh, CD Lamb here and we're going to put him on a out route or flat route just like this. We're still running a variation of the cross play. The only difference is now we're going to take advantage of this tight end route against zone to hold the user and then we're going to be able to throw it over in this area so you can feel free to kind of have uh, some creative freedom if you will with your concept so if you're getting a lot of um you know if you're getting a lot of you know cover three hard flats or something like that having something like this is actually really good you can high point this uh, curl against you know any kind of zone look so this is also really good for if you're running this play and let's say that you know you're getting a lot of zone uh if you're getting a lot of double flatting this becomes another variation of it's a better variation, I think, of why stick because your crosser is going to get into those, you know, soft spots against the formation. So the beauty of Y cross is it literally can beat every coverage in the game. And if you learn how to, I guess, value the different depths at which the crosser can hit, like it could either be a slant. It, if they start to drop zones to stop it, that's why I just like to change the depth of the route. So like we'll go with this play. But now instead of it going 20 yards, we're going to turn it into a slant route that only goes about 15 yards. And what you see here is it manipulates the zones and manipulates match really, really, really well. So, you know, depending on how they're going to defend you, you can just kind of subtly change the concept minorly and it makes actually a very big difference in terms of how the defense is going to play if they're going to run a double flat zone drop style defense right where they're going to have you know a high flat and a low flat then maybe we'll run this variation of it and then what you'll see right here is you've got that curl but you've also got that nice crosser that you can add over the top of any kind of 30 yard depth zone. So this is why cross, this is one way to run it. Um, before I go, I did wanna show you one other thing you can do that I think is actually really cool. Um, you can actually run this concept from the play flood with a put this guy on a post, you're gonna motion him across. And then what I like to do here, you can put him on a crosser or a post, right? But then what we're gonna do is just put this running back on the out route. And now we're in the same play. We're in the same play, we're just now attacking this left uh, or this right side across the across the middle of the field. So, you know, you can kind of mix this concept up to make it your own and change the depth of the route and also where the route actually attacks. If the route is coming from the slot receiver, if the route's coming from the middle receiver, those are all very minor things that you can tweak that make this a really, really, really good concept uh, to be able to attack, you know, a lot of what people are going to be doing defensively. So that is how I like to run the Y cost cross concept. Again, if they're giving you, you know, this this specific variation where you can use this little quick slant uh, and kind of create natural picks and rubs for your routes, that's going to get them out of main coverage. And then you can start attacking zone with just the different depths of the route. So that's how I run the Y cross play. And that's also how you can adapt that cross play to make it super effective no matter what defense you're facing. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to get more on this offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. For just 10 bucks. it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon page.